This little elf originally looked carefree and happy, but the moment he saw this ball, the joy in his eyes disappeared, leaving only a terrified expression. Ah! He suddenly jumped back into the pool like a cat that had been stepped on. Li Yuanqing looked at the little elf and the black ball in his hand in confusion. There seemed to be a connection between the two. Who are you? Why do you have the earth spirit pill? Half of the little elf's body was hiding in the spring. He stuck out his head and shouted at Li Yuanqing. Li Yuanqing weighed the black ball in his hand. This thing seemed to be able to restrain it. Seeing this situation, he became even more confident. He sized up the little elf and asked him, Then let me ask you, who are you? Why are you here? Why are you blocking me from entering this pool? The little elf bared his teeth and glared at Li Yuanqing. You bastard human, why should I tell you? If you tell me, I might promise you some benefits. Benefits? Just as the little fellow was about to flare up, he suddenly thought of something and swallowed the words he was about to say. He put on a smiling face and looked at Li Yuanqing. That's easy. If I tell you, can you go back? Don't think too much about it. I spent all my effort to come here just to take a look at this spring. I think there must be many secrets hidden in this spring. So you tried your best to stop me from entering. That's why I'm even more interested. When the little elf heard Li Yuanqing's words, he could tell that this kid refused to run away no matter what. He gritted his teeth and glared at Li Yuanqing. He was still thinking about this idea in his heart, but at this point, he could not think of anything good. He could only try his best to stall. Fortunately, this human kid did not seem to know how to use the earth spirit pill in his hand. This was a good thing. In the end, the little elf was really helpless. He could only take a step back and say, If you want to ask me questions, it's easy. As long as you promise me not to throw the black bead in your hand into the spring, I'll tell you. Li Yuanqing looked down at the so-called earth spirit stone in his hand. According to him, something extraordinary would happen if he threw this ball into the spring water. The little elf seemed to realize that he had made a mistake in his words just now and hurriedly added, I'm warning you, if this black ball falls into the spring water, it will cause a calamity. At that time, the two of us will be wrapped in it and no one will be able to escape. For the sake of your life, you should obediently put this ball away. Li Yuanqing did not buy it at all. He sat down beside the spring and placed the black ball on the spring. His hand was still weighing it. The ball was flying around and was in danger of falling at any time. This action frightened the little elf. His entire body was hidden in the water, and his head popped out. He stared at the spirit stone parallel to the water surface. He was extremely worried about when this thing would fall. Seeing that the little elf's attention was all on the black ball, Li Yuanqing asked, Who are you? Why are you in the spring? What do you mean I'm in the spring? I'm the original body of the spring. You don't know what's good for you. As soon as the little elf finished speaking, he looked up at Li Yuanqing and was about to flare up when Li Yuanqing suddenly pulled his hand out. The ball was about to fall into the pool without hesitation. This little elf instantly lost his temper. He stretched out his hand, wanting to hold it, but he did not dare to approach it. He was really pitiful. Li Yuanqing did not want to end the conversation with him just like that. Just as the ball was about to touch the surface of the water, he grabbed it and looked at the little elf quietly. In that case, you're the spirit of the spring? The little elf gritted his teeth and looked at Li Yuanqing. He had no choice but to answer honestly, so what if I tell you? Tell me, what do you want? As long as I can take it out, I will give it to you. I think your spring water is not bad. If you move into my domain, you will definitely be able to improve the situation in my domain greatly. Why don't you come back with me? In your dreams, I'm a spiritual body born in the world. How can I be reared by a small human? It's a huge humiliation to me to be in your domain. This little elf spoke very irritably. Li Yuanqing ignored him and continued asking, Then you must know how I can use this earth spirit stone in my hand. The little elf's mouth moved slightly, as if he was cursing. What earth spirit stone? You can use it however you want. In any case, just don't use it here. The more this little fellow said, the more curiously Yuanqing became. At this moment, there was a sudden movement behind him. For some reason, the ancient trees that were originally blocked outside the dividing line seemed to have lost their maple leaves. All of them actually passed through the line and approached inside. 
They looked at Li Yuanqing with bared fangs and brandished claws. Their target was Li Yuanqing, wanting to take him down. Li Yuanqing turned around and glared at the little elf. Why did you let them all come? What nonsense are you talking about? I can't control what they want to do. However, from the looks of it, they're about to reach you. I advise you to leave quickly. This place isn't somewhere you can stay. The little elf revealed a cunning smile. As if they had received some order, these trees suddenly sped up. They took two steps and were about to reach Li Yuanqing. Without hesitation, Li Yuanqing threw the black ball into the spring. Don't. These were the last words that the little elf said. After that, he seemed to have disappeared. He slowly turned into mist and dissolved into the spring water. Moreover, the spring water rolled violently, as if it had encountered a huge change. The spring water that was originally about three meters in diameter suddenly shrank after a violent tremble, revealing only the mouth of the spring below. After all the water dried up, the mouth of the spring looked very clear and bright. It even emitted a faint light. After the spring disappeared, the trees behind him seemed to have gone crazy and rushed towards Li Yuanqing, as if they wanted to tear him into pieces. Without another word, Li Yuanqing went up and grabbed the mouth of the spring below. He threw it, together with a large handful of soil, into his domain. In the next second, he turned into a bird and stepped on the heads of these trees before speeding out. He could clearly feel that after he collected the spring water, the spiritual energy in the 10,000-mile grassland had weakened greatly. Moreover, those trees looked very fierce, but their strength had actually weakened greatly. Most importantly, the spiritual herbs below were originally growing very vigorously, but after the spring water disappeared, they began to dry up one by one. The originally very fat leaves and fruits slowly dried up. Li Yuanqing had originally thought that he could still make a killing before he left, but he did not expect these grass to be so dry and useless. After failing to find anything, he could only try his best to run out. Fortunately, all the restrictions had disappeared. All the rules of the 10,000-mile grassland seemed to have been unsealed by someone and disappeared. It took a lot of effort to come, but it was so simple to leave. It did not take Li Yuanqing long to reach the edge of the grassland. The domain outside was trembling continuously, as if the barrier of the grassland was gradually disappearing. The entrance to the passageway was there, but the space at the entrance was very unstable. Li Yuanqing seized the last moment and suddenly jumped out, landing on the withered and barren ground again. This was the glory of their northern region, full of ice and snow. When Li Yuanqing thought of what happened just now, there was always a graceful figure in front of him. That was his sister. It had been a while since he fell into this catacomb. He felt that he had completely lost the emotions that he had as a human. After all, to become an outstanding cultivator, he had to abandon all distracting thoughts. But now, he could clearly feel that this feeling was so clear that he could not really remove it. Li Yuanqing sighed and left slowly. The world behind him slowly shattered without him knowing. A piece of news suddenly spread in the catacombs. Those people in the northern region are really miserable. They were fine, but they were actually drowned by a huge flood. Who has seen such a thing? That place is covered in ice and snow. How can there be water? Isn't that so? There are still many people who can escape now, but they're lucky. There are three cities standing here for them to choose from, allowing them to live a peaceful life here. It's much better than being in that place and enduring the cold. Then you're right. In the past, these people had the 10,000 miles grassland to gather some materials for themselves to cultivate. But now, I heard that the 10,000 miles grassland has become useless in recent years. It's extremely dangerous inside and no one dares to go there. All of them are bitterly staying there, unwilling to leave. This is an opportunity. It turned out that after Li Yuanqing left, the world of the vast grassland collapsed. After the poison was removed, the black water everywhere surged into the human territory of the northern region and drowned the entire northern region. In the past, although the northern region was covered in ice and snow, one could occasionally see the shape of some terrain. However, in this situation, nothing useful could be seen. It had really become a glacier. The culprit behind all of this had already secretly left. No one knew how it happened. However, 
someone discovered that the entrance to the 10,000 miles grassland had suddenly disappeared. Many people wanted to go in and try their luck before leaving. However, the entrance to the 10,000 miles grassland seemed to have been permanently closed, never giving the humans any chance again. Because Rong City was the closest, many humans had integrated into it. These people from the northern region directly settled down in an area in the north. However, Rong City was no longer what it used to be. In the past, Rong City was very prosperous and lively. Everyone's alley was filled with people. They were all here, trading and chatting excitedly, doing all the social activities that the human race especially liked. However, the entire Rong City suddenly fell silent. No one wanted to talk. The streets and alleys were silent. Everything seemed to have fallen into a pause. In fact, one could not even see the prosperous scene of the past in the market. All of this was so strange that no one could guess the reason why. However, the people born and raised in Rong City naturally understood that the reason for everything now was that their city lord had changed. City lord, the group of people from the northern region have already settled down. What should we do with them next? The original great general of Rong City had now become the city lord. The new city lord sat on the throne of the city lord and became much more magnanimous. He looked down at the people below with the attitude of a king and said in a strong voice, These people from the northern region can't bring much resources with them. They can only become a burden. It's better not to let them stay for too long. Let them find a way to Ping City as soon as possible. I understand. I'll definitely do it well. After the official in charge of population left, only these generals were left. A month ago, they were still worshipping the saintess of the human race with an orthodox bloodline. But now, they have suddenly become the true leader of this city. Big brother, I think it's best if the saintess doesn't come back forever. It's best if she stays in the other wilderness forever. Rong City is quite good now. It's much more peaceful than before. That's right. Rong City has completely changed under Big Brother's wise leadership. In the past, there were many criminals, but now, there hasn't been a single fight in a month. This is simply the perfect city in everyone's imagination. The great general also felt smug. He stroked his beard and said with a smile, Although that's right, if the saintess is willing to return, she will still be the city lord. In an inconspicuous corner of the mountain range in the center of Rong City, a few muscular youths surrounded a dark and thin little fellow and stared at him with evil smiles. Lu Wan, have you thought it through? Hurry up and hand over the treasure in your hand. Otherwise, not to mention you, I'll kill your crippled grandmother too. The person who spoke was a fat little fatty. This fellow did not look old, but his figure seemed to be filled with air. Lu Wen's bright eyes glared fiercely at him. Big dog, I've said it many times. I don't have anything on me. Don't even think about it. Why are you so dishonest? In the beginning, the three children could still say a few words. However, when they saw that Lu Wen was still resisting very stubbornly, their faces immediately drooped. Brat, we gave you face. We saw that the two of you were forced to live here and didn't cause you any trouble. This is our gift to you. Why don't you know? Did you hear what Big Brother said? This is a gift from us. Kid, remember this. Don't think that you can live here peacefully without paying anything. How can there be such a good thing? The person who spoke had a pair of big buck teeth. Although he was not thin, he looked thin standing beside Big Dog. Big Dog nodded at him and said with a smile, Second brother, go and teach him a lesson and tell him clearly. Let him know in his heart what he relied on to live for so many years. It's not the leftovers from their old woman who went crazy. Ha ha ha. Brad, do you understand? If not for brother Wong turning a blind eye and allowing you to find materials and things everywhere on this mountain, would you have survived? But now you didn't have an ounce of gratitude. Is this appropriate? Lu Wen retreated step by step and gradually retreated to a big tree behind him. He leaned his back against it and could no longer retreat. He subconsciously covered his waist with his hand. This small action was instantly captured by the few of them. Big Dog nodded. Second brother understood and brought third brother along. The two of them sandwiched Lu Wen from both sides. Please reading on myb0xnovl.com. Give it to me. Second brother pulled the small bottle out of Lu Wen's waist 
and handed it to Big Doc. The three brothers looked at Lou Wen proudly, as if their scheme had succeeded. Brat, you insisted that you didn't have anything just now. Now, it's clear that you must have obtained a lot of benefits from that expert. Why do you have to hide it? After Big Dog finished speaking, Second Brother always repeated himself a few times. Is that reasonable? Is it reasonable? Third Brother still wanted to speak, but he felt that he had already missed the time and atmosphere. Second Brother had done it too perfectly. He could only bare his fangs and brandish his claws at the side. He puffed out his chest but could not say anything. He did not need to do much to bully others with his two brothers. Big Dog brought the small jade bottle in front of him and shone it at the light source above its head. It said in satisfaction, Good kid. I knew that the treasures in this lord's hands are extraordinary. Look at this bottle. It's probably worth a lot of spirit stones. Big Dog was very satisfied with the small bottle. It must be filled with good treasures. He hurriedly opened the bottle and poured it into his palm. However, his palm was still empty. Nothing fell. He was stunned for a moment before trying again. When he poured it into his palm again, there was still nothing. He turned the small bottle upside down and raised it above his head. He closed one eye and looked carefully with the other. The bottle was empty. Other than a strong medicinal fragrance, there was nothing else. The brat had already eaten all the pills inside. You bastard! Is your lowly body worthy of eating such a high-grade pill? Instead of keeping it obediently, you actually ate it all yourself. I think you don't want to live anymore. Big Dog was quite angry at Lu Wen. Initially, when he saw Lu Wen's cautious appearance, he thought that he was really hiding some treasure on him. In the end, there was nothing in the bottle. He came out with an empty bottle and fooled them. How could they not be angry? Big Dog raised his fist and smashed it at Lu Wen's face. This kid was too arrogant. At this moment, a short stick suddenly flew out from the side and smashed towards Big Dog's arm. Before Big Dog could react, he was hit by the black rod. The strong force coming from this rod directly smashed his hand with a cracking sound. It sounded like the bones inside were broken. Big Dog's arm was bent limply. His entire forearm was bent from the middle for some reason. His palm was hanging on his arm. He looked at his arm in horror. After a long time, he reacted and let out a howl like a pig being slaughtered. Ah! The two brothers at the side were also so frightened by the scene in front of them that they almost peed their pants. They fell two to three meters away and sat on the ground, not knowing what to do. However, Big Dog was still a cultivator after all. Although he was still young and had not experienced such bloody knowledge, after experiencing the initial fear, he gradually reacted. He looked angrily at the place where the black rod flew over. However, he did not need to look for this person anymore. That kid actually walked out on his own and came to Lu Wen's side. The two of them stood together like brothers. This person was Yang Tianqi. Lu Wen was still holding a short knife in his hand. Just now, when Big Dog was about to attack, he was already prepared to attack. However, Yang Tianqi beat him to it and he quietly retracted the short knife in his hand. Go! Sensing that Lu Wen was still in a daze behind him, Yang Tianqi could not help but urge him. Why aren't you leaving? Are you waiting for them to kill you? Yang Tianqi pushed Lu Wen out, but he stood in front of the three of them. He was still holding the short black stick. You were the one who attacked just now? Kill him. Big Dog had been ambushed by someone just now and had his arm broken. Now that he had finally stabilized his arm with spiritual power, he looked at his enemy standing in front of him and was even angrier. He knew this guy too. Although he had a father who was in charge, this kid's strength was only average. Now, the three of them still had a huge advantage over the two of them. Moreover, Luwin did not have any strength at all. It was just three against one. Big brother, this kid's father is the inspector. What if? What's there to be afraid of? The patrol won't come to such a place. If we kill him and bury him on the spot, no one will discover him. His father won't be able to see him for the rest of his life. Just treat it as being eaten by the demons. In any case, there are many brats like him who have been eaten by the demons. Yang Tianqi gritted his teeth. Beads of sweat appeared on his forehead, and the hand holding the short stick was covered in cold sweat. However, he still pretended to be calm and said, Surrender obediently. I've already informed my father. 
he'll be here soon. At that time, none of you will be able to escape. You'll be sent to the water prison and your bodies will be invaded by the black water day and night. Initially, second brother and third brother were already planning to fight, but after hearing his words, the two of them felt a little afraid. The two of them shrank back to Big Dog's side and looked at him timidly. Big brother, let's leave quickly. If the patrol team comes later, the three of us will definitely be taken away. What if we're really locked up in that water prison? Big Dog's face turned red with anger. If he could not take revenge on the spot, how could he vent his anger? He slapped second brother's head with his other healthy arm. You bastard, do you think he'll come just because he said so? He's clearly tricking us. We have to hurry up and kill this kid first. Then, the three of us will have long fled. They won't be able to find us. Although the two brothers were still a little worried, it did not seem to be a big problem after listening to their big brother's analysis. Seeing that the two of them were still hesitating, Big Dog went up and kicked them. He said to the two of them, Bastard, you've already provoked him. When he goes back and tells his father, the three of us will still be captured. Hurry up and attack. These two brothers had no choice. Since their big brother had already said so, it would be unreasonable for them to retreat. Moreover, the discipline in the city was strict now. After the new city lord took office, they were very tight on such things. Anyone who violated the rules would be captured and taught a lesson. The lightest punishment would be being imprisoned for several years. If it was a little more serious, they might even be reduced to an ordinary person. If their cultivation was crippled, it would be no different from death. They would die not long after. Although they knew that these places were outside the surveillance range of the patrol team, they did not dare to imagine what the city lord would do if this kid really reported them and the patrol team came looking for them. The city lord used to be a great general. The great general was swift and decisive, and his methods were cruel. Not only did he treat his subordinates, but he also treated everyone in the city the same. The second brother, Er Ming, waved his arms a few times, and a clear water sword appeared in his hand. There was a faint spiritual energy fluctuation on this sword. It looked like a very low-level Dharma artifact. However, he was already very proud to have a Dharma artifact at his age. Third brother was holding a very ordinary rod that looked like it was refined from iron. There was no spiritual energy in it at all. The two of them shouted and rushed straight at the other party. Yang Tianxi and Lu Wen guarded in front of the tree. The two of them had wanted to discuss leaving together, but in this situation, if they could not defeat their opponent, they would not be able to leave. If one of them left, the other would definitely be left behind. Yang Tianchi was still holding the short rod. It seemed to be a Dharma artifact he had just obtained. The spiritual energy on it was very abundant. He could tell that it was a good treasure. Lu Wen Wen was still holding the short dagger. There was very sparse spiritual energy lingering on the dagger. It was unknown where he had obtained a Dharma artifact. Yang Tianqi Fachet Er Ming The short rod and the clear water sword collided with an ear-piercing sound. Lu Wen faced third brother. Third brother swung his rod down. Lu Wen pretended to take it head on, but in fact, his lower body had already moved to the side. When the two weapons connected, he suddenly pulled his upper body over and took advantage of the opportunity to place himself by third brother's side. This movement technique was actually so agile. After approaching third brother's body, he waved the short dagger in his hand without hesitation and slashed at third brother's neck. Third brother did not have much combat experience to begin with. The three of them usually bullied others with their strength. Most of them just caught some weak and helpless fellows and ravaged them. Those people never knew how to fight back. They were used to bullying others with their power. This was the first time they had fought such a short distance. Moreover, their big brother was injured the moment he came up. In the past, they did not have the chance to fight the other party. And now, he panicked. If he continued to hesitate, his neck would be cut off. At this moment, Lu Wen suddenly felt a chill on his back. Look out! Yang Tianqi shouted, but it was already too late. Big Dog had already arrived behind Lu Wen and was pressed against his back. Although Lu Wen looked very handsome and agile just now, he was also completely focused on his movement technique. He did not leave any way out for himself and did not even notice that an enemy had approached behind him. Although he could feel the intense killing intent coming from behind him, he no longer had any chance to react. 
It was too late for him to resist. Lu Wen gritted his teeth, his eyes filled with ruthlessness. The dagger in his hand rushed straight at third brother's neck, as if he wanted to fight to the death. Stop it. Big Dog was originally very proud. He thought that his attack would be able to save his brother and scare Lu Wen. It would be best if he could kill him with a single slash. However, he did not expect this kid to have such a ruthless temper. He actually did not care about his life and insisted on dragging his third brother down with him. Two lives were about to be lost in the battle between the three of them. However, at this moment, a golden light seemed to light up beside Lu Wen. It turned into a huge bell and trapped Lu Wen in the middle. Big Dog and third brother at the side were sent flying by the bell. Lu Wen also missed. On the other side, second brother was fighting with Yang Tianqi and was vaguely at a disadvantage. He originally thought that his big brother would be able to determine the winner, but he did not expect that this sudden thing, or that this kid was hiding some treasure, would directly defeat his big brother and third brother. What kind of ability was this? Big Dog looked down at his arm, which had been intact a second ago, in pain. At this moment, his arm had been broken into four pieces. The very majestic force from the long saber just now shattered his entire arm. His form was split into two, and his arm was also split into two. His entire arm was like a lotus root, hanging here in curved sections. It looked very terrifying. He looked at his arm in despair. He had never suffered such pain in his life. However, he did not know what kind of magic this brat in front of him had to be able to cause such a thing. What treasure was he hiding that could break his hands? Big Dog did not have time to think too much. If he continued to think, he would probably not be able to keep his life. He gritted his teeth. Although he had suffered a loss here today, it was much better than losing his life. After barely using spiritual energy to stabilize his broken arm, Big Dog crawled out of the forest without hesitation. The other two brothers were still waiting for his order when their big brother suddenly fled in a sorry state. It was really too sudden. Second brother and third brother did not dare to continue fighting. They followed their big brothers back and ran away without looking back. Yang Tianqi did not chase after him and came to Lu Wen's side. Are you okay? What happened just now? Lu Wen looked at his body strangely. Just now, he seemed to have felt a very powerful force coming from his body. He did not know where this power came from, but it was very, very comfortable. It was as if he had become a giant, a powerful giant standing in this world. While the two brothers were still conflicted, the scene in front of them suddenly changed. They had arrived at a very beautiful world. There were flowers blooming everywhere and very cute little fish swimming in the gentle lake. The grassland was also very green, giving off a very peaceful feeling. In contrast to this lush grassland, the incompatible griffin was not too far away. It was a towering snow mountain that reached the clouds. This place was like a paradise. Where am I? The two young kids were stunned. The two of them looked around warily. Their years of cultivation experience told them that when they reached any environment, they had to quickly check their surroundings and be vigilant of the surrounding threats. If they relaxed, they would lose their lives. Just as the two of them were conflicted, a young man with an immortal aura suddenly appeared beside them. This person's appearance was too sudden, scaring the two boys. However, after seeing that person's appearance, the two of them suddenly let down their guard. Senior. Senior Li, when did you come back? The two of them looked at Li Yuanqing in surprise. It had been a month. They thought that Li Yuanqing would never return. Although they said that they wanted to stay and had their own reasons, they still yearned for the free world and powerful forces outside. The two brothers were excited to see Li Yuanqing again. Originally, Li Yuanqing and Lu Wen had agreed that he would come and take him away in three days. It could be considered an agreement with the old granny. However, a month had passed. Lu Wen thought that Li Yuanqing had changed his mind. After all, he was an ordinary child and his talent was so poor. Even those sects were unwilling to accept him let alone these powerful people. Thank you, senior. Grandma is much better now and has recovered some of her cultivation. Lu Wen glanced at Yang Tianqi beside him and lowered his head silently. Senior must have returned for Yang Tianqi. What? Has your grandmother's illness been cured? Didn't she suffer from qi deviation? 
I heard that it's absolutely impossible to cure qi deviation. Yang Tianqi looked at Lu Wen curiously. It's all thanks to Senior. If not for him, I don't know what would have happened to Grandma. Li Yuanqing looked at them solemnly and suddenly said, Do you know your mistake? The two of them were stunned at the same time, not knowing what Li Yuanqing meant. Yang Tianqi was more bold. He asked in confusion, Senior, if the two of us make any mistakes, feel free to teach us. It's just that the two of us really can't understand. Li Yuanqing looked at the two of them with a dark expression and said, The greatest taboo when facing an enemy is to split your troops into two. This will weaken your strengths, let alone when there are three of them. There are only two of you. Yet you dispersed your strength. How could this benefit you? Yang Tianqi scratched his head and thought for a while. His little head nodded and said, Senior is right. If Lu Wen and I had gone to deal with the weaker person together just now, there wouldn't have been any danger. Very good. To be able to figure it out in such a short period of time, you still have some talent. Li Yuanqing looked at Lu Wen and asked, What about you? Do you know what your problem is? Lu Wen looked up at Li Yuanqing and then at Yang Tianqi beside him, feeling even more inferior. I can only blame myself for being too weak and not killing that kid immediately. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't have someone pointing a knife at my back. Li Yuanqing knocked his little head. You only have one life. If you're killed, you'll have nothing left. When facing the enemy, of course you have to think about how to save your life first. This is the most important thing. But, Lu Wen lowered his head aggrievedly. The words choked in his throat and could not be said. Yang Tianqi patted his shoulder and comforted him. It's fine. It's not your fault. If I had discovered it earlier and shaken off the opponent first, you wouldn't have been in danger. However, this is also the first time we've worked together. I believe we'll do better in the future. Li Yuanqing nodded in satisfaction and looked at the two children. Not bad. As expected of my disciples. Your comprehension is still very high. The two boys were stunned for a moment, not understanding what Li Yuanqing was saying. Why did he suddenly call them his disciples? Senior, you mean? Yang Tianqi looked at Li Yuanqing in confusion. Li Yuanqing asked, why are you still calling me senior? Yang Tianqi was smart. He spun around and hurriedly knelt on the ground towards Li Yuanqing. Master! Li Yuanqing nodded in satisfaction and looked at Lu Wan, who was silent at the side. Yang Tianqi nudged Lu Wen's arm and urged, What are you doing? Master has been waiting here for so long. Me too. Lu Wen pointed at his nose as if he could not believe it. Hurry up, don't make Master wait too long. Lu Wen knew that there were not many chances in his life to change his fate. This was a rare opportunity. He hurriedly knelt beside Yang Tianqi. Greetings, master. Li Yuanqing nodded in satisfaction. It had indeed been quiet around him for too long. It felt good to suddenly take in these two children. Moreover, it would not affect him if he placed the children in this domain to cultivate. It would be a waste to leave such abundant spiritual energy and materials in this domain. It would only become lively if there were a few more people in the domain. Li Yuanqing raised his head and took a deep breath. It was as if he had become lively after having two more children. I was delayed by something some time ago, so I haven't been able to come back. Li Yuanqing took out two ancient wooden boxes and placed them in the hands of the two children. The two children carefully held the wooden box. They did not know what was inside, but they felt that the box was very heavy. It felt different when they touched it. Master, what is this? Open it yourself and see. A rocking chair had appeared behind Li Yuanqing. He lay leisurely on the rocking chair formed from vines and swayed gently. The two disciples looked at each other and slowly opened the wooden box in their hands. As soon as they opened it, a rich medicinal fragrance assaulted their noses. There were five small medicine bottles in the box. One of the large purple medicine bottles was placed in the middle. It looked very solemn. The other four were small green and white bottles. The two boys could see the excitement in each other's eyes. There are definitely pills in these kinds of bottles. This thing was definitely a rare item in the human community. Even people with high cultivation levels would have to spend a lot of effort to obtain a few pills. However, what right did the two of them have? The two of them are still at the Qi refinement stage. The little fellows had obtained such a large box of pills for no reason. 
and it looked like there were all kinds of pills. Master, isn't this too precious? Yang Tianqi looked at Li Yuanqing in shock. He knew very well how precious this pill was. His father's cultivation had been stuck for a few years and had not improved. It was just that he lacked the support of this pill, that's why he could not advance at all. However, this new master of his had given him so many gifts. It was equivalent to the salary that his father would have to work for his entire life to obtain. Li Yuanqing waved his hand indifferently and said, Pills are useless to me. The two of you are still at a critical moment. You have to cultivate well and not let down my efforts. Master, don't worry. I will definitely cultivate wholeheartedly and not be distracted by anything. Yang Tianqi was smart, and his words made people happy. Luan held up the large bottle in the middle and asked Li Yuanqing, Master, what's in this bottle? Li Yuanqing replied indifferently, There are five foundation establishment pills inside. The two of you have to use them sparingly. If you finish them, I won't give them to you anymore. Foundation establishment pill? Five. The two boys were completely dumbfounded. Foundation establishment pill was an extremely rare item. With this pill, they could turn an unranked cultivator into a big shot who could step onto the path of cultivation. There were even countless sects and clans who wanted to get these pills. However, every year, those large families could only distribute a few. Hundreds of clansmen were waiting for the pills to be distributed to them, but they could only take out a few pitifully. However, when it came to Li Yuanqing, each of them had five pills. Just looking at this scene made people not dare to speak. Yang Tianqi knew very well that his father did not have so many spirit stones to buy him the foundation establishment pill. When he reached this cultivation level, he could only rely on his own ability or force his way up, or work for others for a few years to buy himself a pill. Just like that, his master easily completed the goal that he originally needed 10 years to complete. Li Yuanqing had a lot of pills in his hands. Moreover, he no longer had any use for low-level pills like the Foundation Establishment Pill and the Restore Origin Pill. If not for the fact that he wanted this kid to not be so arrogant and be more down-to-earth, he would probably have stuffed more than 10 pills into the bottle. It would save him a lot of trouble in the future. However, even five was enough to scare the two boys. Both of them were dumbfounded. Now, they were simply stunned and could not speak. Li Yuanqing placed the two of them in this domain and taught them the cultivation technique. He let the two of them comprehend it here for the time being while he left the domain. On the other side, a shadow flashed and someone suddenly appeared in the city lord manor. This person rushed into the meeting hall of the city lord manor. The great general turned his back to the door and looked at the light shining through the towering glass bricks above his head. He said impatiently, How many times have I told you not to come in when I'm thinking? However, the footsteps of the person behind him did not stop. Instead, they were getting closer and closer. The great general turned around impatiently and saw such a familiar face. What? You? The great general looked at Li Yuanqing in disbelief. In his imagination, Li Yuanqing and Yi Chilua should have already died at the hands of the rebels. But why was Li Yuanqing standing here unscathed? If he was still alive, wouldn't City Lord? The great general stumbled back. He was so arrogant just now, but now, he no longer has his previous arrogance. Li Yuanqing casually walked to the city lord throne and sat down. The great general watched as the throne he had worked so hard for was easily sat on by someone, but he did not dare to complain. Others might not know what kind of strength Li Yuanqing had, but he knew it very well. To be able to defeat the tens of thousands of enemy troops by himself, who else other than him could do such a thing? It was someone with such strength who was sitting in front of him. There was only one regret in his heart. He thought that no matter how strong this guy was, the two of them should have died when they were exiled to the wilderness and faced the tens of thousands of rebels and demons. However, he never expected that not only was Li Yuanqing alive and well, but his strength seemed to have improved. He felt that the man in front of him was unpredictable. Li Yuanqing was like a huge mountain pressing down on him. However, the pressure has become even greater now. It seems that Li Yuanqing had improved greatly in a short period of time. The great general's expression changed slightly. He carefully sized him up a few times before taking a careful step forward. Senior, I wonder where the city lord is. 
All the citizens of Rong City look forward to her return. The great general knelt on one knee. He was a middle-aged man with gray hair, but he was actually calling a young man senior. Li Yuanqing stared at him quietly with a dark expression. Your city lord has some other matters to deal with now. Don't worry, she won't return for the time being. When the great general heard Li Yuanqing's words, he hurriedly explained, Senior, did you misunderstand something? I'm just an acting city lord now. The position of city lord will always be reserved for the saintess. As long as the saintess returns to the city, the city lord of Rong City will belong to the saintess. I definitely won't dare to touch it. Li Yuanqing did not believe his promise. He only smiled at him and said, It's fine. No matter what you think, your former city lord might really become your former city lord. The great general changed the topic and asked Li Yuanqing, I wonder why senior came here this time? Could it be that you're just telling me these things? Li Yuanqing had originally wanted to leave after bringing the two children back. He did not think too much about it. The overall structure framework of Rong City had been established, so there would not be any major problems. Even without Yi Qi Lua, the environment in Rong City should not have changed much. However, when he returned this time, he realized that Rong City had become jittery and wary. After this great general became the city lord, he implemented a very strict management policy. On the surface, the crime rate here has fallen to a very low level. However, in reality, it was because of the great general's iron fist method that suppressed it. The anger was accumulating in the hearts of the people below. It was very difficult to call it a good decision. Li Yuanqing originally did not want to care about Rong City anymore. He did not have any good impression of these so-called generals in the city. However, there were still hundreds of thousands of people below. It would be very unfair to them if they allowed the great general's rule with such an iron fist. Li Yuanqing took out a piece of paper and threw it in front of the great general. This piece of paper was a ban issued by their city lord manor. Any conflict and any act of going out at night would be regarded as an act of rebellion and would be captured and imprisoned. Moreover, there were already many people imprisoned in the prison. Those imprisoned in the prison were not considered criminal gangs in Rong City, so they were not counted in the so-called crime rate. According to the great general's logic, as long as he captured all the criminals, everything would be safe. That was why the current situation was so unique. The great general glanced at the announcement and hurriedly explained, Senior, don't misunderstand. This measure is a very useful experience that we concluded during the month of ban. It's also because these measures are very practical and effective that they were passed down. It's definitely not for any other reason. Li Yuanqing snorted coldly and looked at him. Forget it. I don't want to hear your words. I just want to tell you that from now on, I don't want to see such an announcement appear again. Rome City used to be a very free place. Don't let it become a sealed prison in your hands. The great general was scolded by Li Yuanqing. He could not hold it in anymore. No matter what, he was already so old. No one had ever dared to scold him like this in his life. Only Li Yuanqing would do so because he was very powerful. Although the great general was angry, he could only endure it on the surface. After all, with his strength, he could not provoke him no matter what. Senior, you're right. I'll remove all the martial law now. I won't implement any martial law in the future. Li Yuanqing found his words a little strange, but he could not be bothered to correct him. He stood up. All right, I'm not here for you this time. I'm just here to give you some suggestions. I hope you can manage Rong City better in the future. Senior, don't worry. I've been working hard all my life and have always received the favor of the old city lord. Now that I'm able to become the acting city lord, I'm also praised by everyone to this position. I definitely won't let everyone down. The great general lowered his head and paused for a moment before adding, I will definitely put strict restrictions in the future and do a good job in every part of Rong City. I hope that senior can rest assured and let the saintess rest assured. The great general lowered his head and spoke for a long time. When he looked up, Li Yuanqing, who was standing in front of him, had already disappeared. He looked around the empty hall and was the only one left. The very serious pressure from before had disappeared, but he did not dare to let his guard down. Li Yuanqing was too powerful. Perhaps Li Yuanqing had not gone far yet. Now was not the time to relax. Guard. 
The great general felt as if he was living in a sealed world and could not hear anything. However, he heard the sounds of guards patrolling outside and immediately called them in. After Li Yuanqing finished explaining this matter, he left Rong City. While the great general was discussing the details with someone in the hall, Li Yuanqing had already brought the two children dozens of miles away. The two children looked at Rong City behind them reluctantly. They had grown up in the wilderness since they were young. It was not easy for them to have such a safe place and live such a comfortable life for so many months, but now, they still had to leave in a hurry. This feeling of reluctance was really painful. However, if they could follow Li Yuanqing, they would definitely be able to stand out in the future. Cultivators like them only wanted to seek the path of immortal ascension. Since this path was in front of them, they had to grasp it well. From now on, the two of you are my disciples. As my disciples, you must cultivate diligently and not slack off at all. Yes, master. Li Yuanqing nodded in satisfaction. These two brats were quite filial. They bade farewell to their father and grandmother in advance. Li Yuanqing even specially left generous materials for them. After letting the two of them bid farewell to Rong City, Li Yuanqing sent them back into his domain to cultivate. Now, there was a dazzling array of things placed in the domain. Moreover, Li Yuanqing did not have any restrictions on the two of them. As long as they needed something, they could take it at will. Such a treasure vault made these two children so excited that they could not sit still for several days. After Li Yuanqing obtained the so-called Black Yin Spring from the 10,000 Miles Grassland, he buried it in his domain. Speaking of which, this spring water was really strange. Wasn't there a small person inside? However, ever since Li Yuanqing dug this thing out, that little fellow seemed to have disappeared. Originally, the energy inside was extremely cold. It was difficult to use it directly. If it stuck to a person, it would corrode their skin and flesh. However, ever since that little person disappeared, the power of the spring water had actually softened. The overall feeling was extremely different from before. Li Yuanqing wondered if that little guy's personality had shaped the style of the spring. However, it was hard to say now. He just did not know where the little guy had gone. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi were arranged to sit beside the spring. In the middle was a thin water outlet. From the dense fog, they had also brought out the spiritual energy from the underground spirit vein, causing the spiritual energy nearby to be much richer than the side. It was naturally easier to cultivate here. After a few days of Li Yuanqing's guidance, the children's mentality was much calmer than before. When they first came, they did not have the mood to cultivate at all. Now that they had obtained the cultivation technique and Li Yuanqing had personally taught them the mental cultivation technique, their cultivation speed was much faster than before. More importantly, the two of them could now focus on sitting beside the spring and immerse themselves in the rich, spiritual energy. These two brats had also lived a tough life. In the past, the spiritual energy where they lived was thin, and it was simply infuriating. Now that they had suddenly come to this heaven-like place, they had to seize every opportunity to cultivate. Li Yuanqing had figured out everything about the Black Yin Spring, but he could not find where the little fellow was hiding. However, there was a strange phenomenon after the spring water arrived. Originally, the blood vine had grown at the foot of the mountain on the other side. It was already very strong and could be said to be much larger than before. It was very big, but it had no intention of transforming. Generally speaking, the more noble the bloodline of the demon beast, the shorter the time needed to transform. However, the blood vine had fallen asleep just like that. After such a long time, his strength had already reached the formation arrangement realm. There were very few demon beasts with this strength who had yet to transform. Li Yuanqing had almost never seen a formation arrangement realm demon beast in its true form, where it had no intention of transforming. However, all of this changed after the arrival of the Black Yin Spring. Li Yuanqing did not know what the blood vine did that night. However, when he looked again the next day, the complicated vine network that had already covered the sky had shrunk into a small lump. The two towering trees that were about to be entangled to death were finally relieved. It was not easy for the two of them to grow to such a huge size. They were entangled by the blood vine until their skin was about to crack. Their bodies were even on the verge of collapse, 
as if they would turn into powder and scatter into the sky if they were touched. The things planted in Li Yuanqing's domain were very particular. Even these two trees were two low-level plant-type demon beasts. This tree was very powerful, but it did not expect that it would not be able to withstand the torture of the blood vine and almost died. Fortunately, the blood vine retracted the vines that had grown out. There was only a small section left on it. The larger parts had shrunk to the ground. If one looked carefully, they would discover that there was a huge red ball about 10 meters in diameter under the ground. This red ball was completely condensed from vines. It looked like a meatball or a huge cocoon. This ball of meat was like a heart. It was still beating continuously, emitting subtle fluctuations. In the beginning, these fluctuations were very weak and undetectable. However, after a few days, the intensity of the fluctuations became even stronger. Even when the two of them sat there to cultivate, they would often be disturbed. Li Yuanqing had instructed Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi to not disturb it since the one underground was his old friend. The two of them were also very obedient. From the beginning to the end, they guarded the spring and did not dare to enter the area of the Red Ball. After Li Yuanqing left Rong City, he headed to the wilderness again. This time, he was going to the mountains in the eastern region. He only had one last material left which was the netherworld flower. As long as he found the last material, he could start refining the huge devil crystal into a dharma artifact. Originally, Li Yuanqing did not have many plans for the gains along the way. However, the gains along the way were too abundant. This made him even more curious about the next location. What secrets were hidden in these places that had never been mined? Why were there so many treasures in these places? All of this was very wrong. Be it humans or demons, their cultivation speed in the dungeon world was not fast. However, there were actually so many strange mystic realms in the catacombs world. This was a very strange thing in itself. Where did the energy of these mystic realms come from? Why could they nurture so many strange creatures? While Li Yuanqing was traveling, he passed by a certain plain in the wilderness and bumped into a group of beasts. This beast group was wrapped in smoke that filled the sky covering the entire sky that was already dark enough. Now, it looked even darker, and the visibility was less than five meters. These were thousands of bulls. They galloped forward crazily as if they had been provoked. The scene was too strange. Moreover, there seemed to be something in the middle. Although they were moving west overall, the area in the middle that was constantly spinning and emitting powerful energy actually had the aura of a human. Li Yuanqing originally did not intend to disturb them, but after sensing the two colliding auras inside, he secretly circled around the beast pack and sneaked into the central area. These thousands of bulls only knew how to run with their heads lowered. Their intelligence was relatively low. The ones inside were slightly stronger. They did not have to run at full speed. Even if they were busy with their own things, they could maintain the stability of the entire team. Good lord. It seems like these stupid bulls don't intend to let us go. I didn't expect us brothers to fall at the hands of a group of stupid bulls. In the middle of them were a few human cultivators. They were dressed very simply and only barely covered the important parts of their bodies. There were three men and one woman. It was unknown why these four people had appeared here. However, judging from the artifacts in their hands, they were typical natives of the catacombs. Fortunately, the humans living in the catacombs more or less knew some simple weapon refinement methods. They would gather the materials and make them into handy weapons. They could barely be used. It was even a little difficult to classify them. However, sometimes, they would obtain some relatively rare materials. Those powerful materials could still unleash a considerable effect with their own strength. Please reading on mybox.novel. com. It was obvious that these people were the people who had always lived in the catacombs. The swords and sabers in their hands were all very simple. There were basically no complicated array patterns inside, only bodies made of materials. It was very similar to the refining methods of ordinary people. Although most of their spiritual energy had been exhausted, their expressions were still radiant. They had lived in the wilderness for a long time, and their physical strength had been forged to a very powerful level. After such a long period of torture, they had consumed so much spiritual energy, but their physical strength still allowed them to forcefully withstand it. Big Brother, 
we really can't hold on anymore. We have to break out. If we don't, we'll be dragged to death by these stupid bulls. That's right. These guys have made up their minds to exhaust us here. We can't continue like this. On one hand, this team was still guarding against the attacks of the bull that had rushed in. On the other hand, they were still discussing the details of breaking through. The big brother, who was a burly man, had very strong muscles in his upper body that were exposed. They were angular and looked like they were carved from stone. The second brother was slightly weaker, but his entire body was very well proportioned. However, he was not that big. His muscles were still very obvious. The third was the only woman. This woman's face was cold, and she usually did not smile. No matter what the others said, she did not seem to have anything to say. However, this woman had a rare, anxious expression on her face, as if she could not calm down at all in the current situation. The fourth brother was a young kid. This kid had brute force all over his body and his big eyes were wide open. He was no different from those bulls. It was the second and third brothers who had spoken just now. They looked at the situation in front of them. Those bulls had surrounded them with ease. If this continued, what would the outcome be? The four of them knew the answer. The big brother's face was solemn. He knew that if they wanted to break out of the encirclement, someone had to cover their retreat. However, there were thousands of bulls, and these guys were very intelligent. There could not be only one person left to cover their retreat. That meant that the two brothers had to risk their lives to send the other two away. In fact, if those two brothers did not hold on, the other two would not be able to leave at all. This was clearly a suicidal move. Seeing her brother's hesitation, the third sister shouted, Big brother, if we don't decide, none of us will be able to leave. Big brother. The second brother looked at the big brother sincerely and said, It's fate that we brothers can be together in this life. There's no need to say anything about living and dying together now that we've encountered such a calamity. The treasures we obtained this time are enough for the two of us to break through and live on for us brothers. The big brother gritted his teeth and suddenly said, All right, it's decided then. Fourth brother and I will cover the retreat. You guys leave first. As the big brother spoke, a dark talisman appeared in his hand. It was unknown how long this talisman had been hidden. It seemed to have been many years. The second brother hurriedly pulled his brother. Big brother, no. You have to leave. You and third sister, the two of you leave. Fourth brother and I will stay. We're younger and have a lot of spiritual energy in our bodies. There won't be any problems. Cut the crap. Hurry up and leave. It'll be too late if you don't leave now. As he spoke, he threw the talisman in his hand into the sky. Suddenly, a golden pillar of light erupted towards the north. The few bulls in the central area hurriedly dodged it, but the bulls at the periphery were not so lucky. Many bulls rushed forward in a daze. After being swept by the golden light, they instantly turned into bubbles. Their lives were gone. If you don't leave now, when will you? As the big brother shouted, his second brother and third sister no longer had any time to argue. They could only grit their teeth and rush out. After the two of them ran out of the bull herd, the inside instantly fell silent. The bulls still kept their heads lowered and ran west desperately, as if nothing had happened. There was no more movement from the central area, and no bulls even came out to chase them. The second brother and third sister had sorrowful expressions on their faces as they stared blankly at the middle of the herd. They did not believe that their big brother had died just like that. Big brother is gone. No, big brother can't be dead. Big brother has the protection of a god. He must still be alive. The second brother said stubbornly, but two tears had already appeared on his face. The small mountain that the two of them were on was not big and did not have much cover. It was already very risky for the two of them to stand here, but they did not expect that no bull would chase after them. At this moment, the second brother suddenly sensed that something was wrong and turned around. At some point, someone had appeared behind him. This person had a fair face and was tall. He held a light fan in his hand and had a gentle smile. If he had met such a young master elsewhere, the second brother would definitely not be wary. However, this fellow's appearance was too strange. The two of them were extremely nervous just now and did not realize that such a person had approached them, let alone appear less than ten feet behind them. If the other party had a knife, they would have been killed. 
Who are you? Li Yuanqing smiled and waved his fan. The fan emitted a faint flower fragrance. It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is that the two of you are here. Are you waiting for someone? What's it to you? That's right. It really has nothing to do with me. However, I want to ask about something. I wonder if the two of you can provide me with some clues. The second brother was originally very nervous, but when he heard that Li Yuanqing was asking about something, he slowly relaxed his guard and stood up to lower the long saber in his hand. What are you going to ask? Li Yuanqing smiled at the two of them. I see that the two of you are from the east. I wonder if you know about the evil spirit valley in the east? The second brother looked at Li Yuanqing in confusion and said, The evil spirit valley is famous in this area. Anyone who lives here has heard of the reputation of the evil spirit valley. Why are you asking this? Li Yuanqing smiled and said, It's nothing. There were some problems when I was cultivating. I need a medicinal herb that I might be able to find in the evil spirit valley. Hearing Li Yuanqing's words, the second brother sneered and looked at Li Yuanqing pitifully. Brother, I advise you to look elsewhere. Don't waste time here. If you need the herbs in the evil spirit valley to sustain your illness, I'm afraid there's no hope. I wonder why you say that? The second brother was about to speak when his third sister tugged at his clothes and secretly said to him via voice transmission, We can't stay here for long. Big brother just had an accident. The two of us should refine that thing and increase our cultivation before going to find him. The second brother retracted his words and looked at Li Yuanqing. That's all I can tell you. That place is not a place ordinary people can go. Basically, most of the people who go inside will die. Don't even think about it. What a coincidence. There's nothing wrong with me usually, but I'm a little stubborn. If there's really such a challenge, I'm a little interested in going in and taking a look. The second brother was originally planning to leave with his third sister. He did not expect that not only did Li Yuanqing not listen to his advice, but he was also stubborn and kept talking. Kid, don't you understand what we're saying? That's a dangerous place. Even a formation arrangement realm expert won't be able to come out alive. Let alone a kid like you. You should give up on this idea early and go back to the auction. The two of them completely ignored Li Yuanqing. However, at this moment, Li Yuanqing waved his hand and a strange scene suddenly appeared in front of him. This was a very beautiful world of flowers and plants. In the flowers and plants, there were two people sleeping soundly. Originally, the second brother and third sister did not intend to continue arguing with Li Yuanqing. However, the moment they saw the two of them, their eyes widened and were about to pop out. Big brother. The third sister stared at Li Yuanqing warily. Who are you? Why is there an image of my brother? Li Yuanqing smiled at the two of them and said, It's nothing. I just happened to pass by a certain valley and saw the two of them, so I came down. I think the two of you are looking for them. How is that possible? Big brother is clearly already in the herd. Li Yuanqing closed the fan in his hand and smiled at the two of them. Why don't I make a deal with you? What deal? Li Yuanqing pointed to the west and said, I saw these two people in a valley a thousand miles west. The two of them are not in a good state. If you can't rush over in time, their lives will be in danger. Li Yuanqing's words stunned the two of them. They did not know what Li Yuanqing was trying to say. They were still together just now. How could their brothers be a thousand miles away? Li Yuanqing continued, I'll tell you the whereabouts of the two of them. You can send one person to save them, and then the other person will bring me to find the evil spirit valley. How about that? The second brother and third sister looked at each other and saw the deep confusion in each other's eyes. They really could not understand what was going on. It was as if something had happened that they had not noticed at all. 